Hello everyone, welcome to your very first Fractal Explorer tutorial. The first thing we're going to do is we're, we are going to create a workspace for our Fractal Explorer. Uh, my workspace is going to be in a GitHub folder. Um, so if you want to create one, just right click, hit new folder. And you see I already have a bunch of projects going on. But one of those projects is the Fractal Explorer. Now I have some template files right here that you don't need to worry about. Um, so the next step is going to be to open one of your favorite editors. Um, here I have Atom open. You can create a new file by hitting Command N. Now save this file in your workspace. Um, let's see, mine was on GitHub, Fractal Explorer. Name this file Fractal Explorer.java. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a header. Oops. And in this header, put something like a Fractal Explorer created in Java and put your name. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm going to import all of the imports we're going to need for this series. So we're going to need java.util Oops. We're also going to need java.awt star. We're also going to need Java awt image. We're going to be using the buffered image. Um, we're also going to be using event for mouse clicks and keyboard strokes and so on. And we're going to be using Java X swing for GUI components to create the graphical user interface. Since we named this file Fractal Explorer, that's going to be the name of our class. So public class Fractal Explorer. And we're going to make this be a JFrame. So make sure you have extends JFrame here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to call the main method. And the main method is going to create a new instance of the Fractal Explorer. So new Fractal Explorer like that. And that's going to call the constructor. So let's create a constructor. And the constructor is where we are going to initialize um, our GUI. And for this this first video, all I want to do is have a canvas that pops up on the screen. So let's do that. Um, set initial GUI properties. I think that method is pretty self-explanatory. Um, it's just going to set some properties for our GUI. Um, but before we do that, let's create some instance variables for the width and the height of our canvas. Um, width, let's make the width 600, let's make the height also 600. There you go. So now I'm just going to create list a bunch of properties and explain what they do afterwards. Uh, 
Okay, so what do all these properties mean? Well, this first one sets the title of our graphical user interface to Fractal Explorer. Set default close operation is a method which determines how our window will close. The option jframe.exit on close ensures that when we click the X button of our window, the window closes naturally as you would expect. Set size just sets the size of the GUI, so it's going to be 600 by 600. Set resizable locks locks the frame so that we can't actually resize it, and we don't want this. Just because we're going to have a canvas on top of it, we would rather that stay fixed. Set relative location to and null makes sure that when our GUI is created, that it is placed in the center of the screen. And set visible makes makes everything visible. So let's run this and see if it works. So open up your terminal and my workspace is on the desktop in the GitHub folder and Fractal Explorer. Um, I'm going to compile my, my Fractal Explorer video and we don't have any errors and let's see if it runs. And indeed it does and we get a simple graphical user interface with nothing on it as expected. And this is the title we set and and the size is 600 by 600 and if we click the, the red X at the top left corner our GUI exits. And this is all I wanted to do for the first video, is just get a frame on the screen and get everything started. So guys, thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.